told my team that before the game and yesterday that UMass was the best eighth place or ninth place team in any college hockey league ever, right? Huh? The way they play and how hard they play and how quick they are. And they came in and showed who they really are tonight in the game. They were completely ready to play and thorough as hell. And I thought that uh, we started off okay and once we Played a little uh, thought we I put, thought we played okay in the first period and they were getting there. They were, they were seeing how the game was gonna go. Once we tied it up and came back for the second period, we just were horrible in the second period and ended up worse than the third. Uh, and a lot of that had to do with their speed, their quickness and their determination and we didn't match it. I thought our goalie played great. Uh, I thought their goalie played well. He, we shot a lot of pucks wide, we were careless with pucks. Uh, but in general, I thought that we got outplayed by a team that was determined uh, to come in here and give a great effort, and we weren't determined at all. We, were, uh, we had too many guys not show up. Our goaltender showed up, but he played great. Uh, in general, it was a hungry for a win that had to have a win and a team that didn't have to have anything. The difference really showed up in special teams uh, beyond even the stats. It seemed like they were collapsing really well, making it very hard for you guys to get to the national conference. They did a great job in both, both special team areas. But the, thing, the thing that shows you who's ready to play and who isn't is that uh, if you looked at the face-offs on every power play and penalty kill they won. It looks like the face-offs were even, but the most important face off. They won every single one of them. Ninety percent of them uh, I thought they did a great job there. <coughs> In general it was, I can't remember the last time that uh, between B blocks we had a game like this. We haven't lost this game. Oh four is the last loss. So uh, we played ourselves uh, down a level and UMass played themselves up big level and showed by far they were a much better team. I was really impressed with how hard they skated, how hard they, every time I've seen them play against us three times and any other times I've seen them play I thought they were really a good team and I had picked them to be one of the real super teams in our league that would have a, have a big surprise to a lot of people. They still may because if they get cool like they did tonight they could, they could get in the playoffs and we would want to play. I was hats off to Coach Cahoon and, and their team. They come in here and they were going to go to a chance to uh, be a real good team in their own building and keep our playoff hopes alive. And they certainly did that. Jack, can you point to the beam part as the cause for maybe this uh, no. sluggish? You know, as I say, we, that hasn't happened very often. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I wouldn't say it was, I, I just thought we, were, we weren't ready to play, we weren't as focused as we have to be. And they were much more determined than they were, much more no, they they, they, they they did a lot of backed off trap too. You know, they, they play exactly like you, uh, Merrimack plays us. They uh, play exactly like Harvard plays us. They come hard, and if they don't like it, they see they back off, and they have a one four the four guys waiting in center ice. We handled that okay. Uh, our problem was every, every I mean, the amount of shots they get off the face offs, and the, the amount of time possession in our zone off the face offs, and the amount of uh, power play opportunities. We had, uh, we each had six power plays, but it looks like we got a lot of good shots off them. They had a much better time of possession, better chances. After your second.